no, we First don't you gotta vote. You gotta vote, baby. You gotta vote. I don't want to see. Well, you gotta vote. You gotta do it next week. Okay, Archibald. <laughs> hey, Tom. Hey, Hater now. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Party Boy Deuce. Hey, question with Cree. Hello, and welcome to the Cree and Deuce Show. Woo! On Atlanta's number one hip hop station, we are on Hot 1079. Yep. You know, we are coming to save the airwaves of radio. Huh. One wave at a time, but not just that. You got to make sure you follow us and keep it locked into everything yep. we got going on because we got popping lives going on, baby. You did. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe, comment, like. Uh, send to somebody else, you know what I'm saying? DM us, love us because we're about to fuck them up. Yep, ah! yep, it's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079, ATL's hottest party boy, Deuce. And, qu <laughs> and questions with Cree. Good morning. Good morning. We have a very special guest in the building. A very, 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 I'm talking very, about very author. Special. I'm talking about pro football player. I'm talking about actor. Yes, sir. Mm. Public speaking. Mm. Mm. Did I say author already? You said it. Author twice. 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 That part. Two times. Twice. <laughs> hey man, Stevie Bass Jr. is in the building, man. What up, bro? What's hey, up, cuz? It's, it's right a family here. affair, man. Hey, it's long overdue. Can I be in the family? Oh, you, you it's only. Okay, you know, I'm like, y'all are real, you know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. For those that don't know, you know what I'm saying? Stevie Bass is my cousin. Stevie yeah, Bass. Yeah. Party boy, dude. He's you know my cousin, too. I just met him today. Hey, cousin. See? Oh, no. Hey, Stevie Bass Jr. in the building. You brought a book. Yes, sir. You brought your new book. Yes, sir. Woke. Mm -hmm. Talk about it, man. A dictionary for the conscious mind. And, and what that means is that we have words that we speak, vibrations that we put into the atmosphere, bro, and they, they manifest. And they can manifest freedom, liberation, or they can keep you in bondage. And so I'm here to shed light on things and programs and systems that have given us words that keeps us in bondage. You know? Really? Yeah. And so a little quick example if you you look at the word kid the word kid means a baby goat or animal at its core so if you call a child a kid why wouldn't they not act like animals why wouldn't they not act like sheep mm. you know mm. so if i call a woman a b word she's ready to fight because that's a yeah. female dog yeah so why would you call it instantly turns into a pit bull oh, yeah, i mean oh I mean, I mean, yeah it's you call said what you call me a what Yes. <laughs> so the power of these words that we speak, man, have so much relevance. On Sunday, I just shared it with you guys. It's Sunday. Today is, is church day. Most yep. pastors sit, stand in the pulpit on yep. Sunday. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the word pulpit, a lot of the times people are being pulled into a pit instead of lifted up. Yeah. So it, it's, it's like breaking down these words. The word black. You know, if you take the B off the word black, it's lack. So when, you, when I start to uncover the origin of that word, I would never call myself black again because I'm melanin. Yeah. You melanin to be exact. I'm, I'm indigenous, I'm aboriginal. And so you calling yourself black and you finding out that it means colorless in the Latin word. If you look at black, I mean white in Spanish, white is blanco, blanco, blanco. En francais, white is blanc. Isn't white, I mean isn't blanc and blanco Closely spelled the black in the English language. It is. I always wondered that too. It's so. It's so. It's the so ambiguity, bro. Mm, the inexactness wow, of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Two and, and three and, when, and four together. <laughs> when we start recognizing the inexactness of of what we've been taught, then it, it 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 it'll start waking us up for real. 360. Like a lot of people say they woke. You got Black Lives Matter. You woke on Black Lives Matter, but you have no idea about your credit. <laughs> right. Like like or you you got you have great credit, but your health is messed up. Like 360 consciousness is trying to have balance or homeostasis in all parts of your life yeah. so you don't have a dis dash ease. Mm. So if you say dis dash ease, dis I was about to say, now dis dash, you got to dish dish so, on that. So, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, an emotional dis dash ease causes physical disease. So if you take the dash out of dis ease, it's disease. But how did I get to a disease? How did I get sick? I was, I was stressed out. Mm -hmm. Emotional dis-ease, economic dis-ease. Man, my, ch my check ain't doing good right now. I'm stressed, I can't pay bills. Guess what? That's st that stress turns into a turns disease. Into you got else. ulcers, you got cancer, you got all kind of stuff going on because you stressed out about your economics. You know what I'm saying? And so, how do we stay in balance? We, 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 we start to recognize that we've been given some things over the course of our lives that are really toxic to us, and the words are big. Hey man, mm. Stevie Bay Jr. Y'all better just, wake up this he, morning. He just woke me up. But I hope so. I am awake and awoken and every other word that means woke. Hey man, woke. Stevie Bay Jr. 
everybody in the building, dog. <laughs> hey, y'all, as y'all can see, this ain't no, this ain't no small fry interview, man. You know what I'm saying? My boy got knowledge. Pay attention, man. You deep. I say no. Don't, don't offend me. I'm deafness. Yo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, bro, you intelligent. No, I'm, in, I'm intelligence. So let's talk about uh, the universe. Give it back to the universe, mm. and of course, getting it, making it come back around. Basically, mm -hmm. explain that to these people, man. Let them know why. Well, you know, for me, I think that the only way you're gonna be remembered is if you share. It. The only way you'll be remembered is if you share what was given to you from the universal God. So no, no one remembers how rich you you were, or how many cars you had, or how many quarterback sacks you made in football. Like they remember how you connect with the people. Mm -hmm. and, and if you use your platform to do that, whatever platform you're on, that's when you'll be remembered. The, the wealthiest person in the world, bro, is Mansa Musa that ever lived. It was Mansa Musa. Nobody knows Mansa Musa. It's not many people that know yeah. who Mansa Musa is unless yeah. you study that, right? But when you connect with people and you give back to the universe, that's how you'll be remembered. That's facts. Just going off of what you studied, when did you come into this consciousness and then how did you study and continue to progress? Because you know people, they take interest in things and then they kind of let it fall by the wayside. Mm -hmm. How did you wake up one day and it's like, oh, I want to be woke and I want to wake up everyone else around me. How did that come about? Yeah, it, it came It came from pain. You know, it came from being in a dark place. It came from asking questions that no one could answer. <clears throat> you know, it came from that and that, that drive and being in that place and that space propelled me to go dig deeper or, or, or go to higher heights, whatever, whichever way you want to look at it. But it was, it was, I mean, I, I was, I'm the only pro football player to play on 11 teams in 10 years. So I got cut, traded, released, laid off, but I knew God gave me some ability to do something great. So I kept going, but I was able to find myself outside of just the football player. You know, that's why the first book was called Greater Than The Game. I found out how to be greater than the game that not only a football, but greater than the game that society is playing on our people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and so I'm here now with, with Greater Than The Game and his new book, Woke, to take people to the Super Bowl in the game called Life. You know what I mean? Because mm. because I got a new NFL, it's called a Not Forever League. It's called New Found Life. And that's what I want our people to have. You know what I'm saying? Someone asked, Roland out asked me the other day, they're like, man, this book is so great. We've been hearing great reviews. Are you a, you know, are you a black activist? And I say, no, I'm a spiritual activist. You know, we got so many people suffering from STDs, spiritually transmitted diseases. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so when you think about how how many people's spirit is dark, mm. if that doesn't drive you to go get some light or go get some truth. Or but go everybody get some don't different. know though. No, everybody I, doesn't they know don't. their spirit is dark. Why? No, no, they don't. But that's what I'm saying. But the sad part is that. Many are called, few are chosen. But now we're in an age where everybody's gonna be called because of technology and information. Mm -hmm. There's there, This stuff is out there for you to see and get it, if you want it, you know? And you have people like you guys and shows like this that give platforms to talk about things to help people. Now, whether you wanna listen or receive that or not, that's on you. You can't force someone to think like you. And I, when I got to that point, because when I first became aware during my journey and I, as I was evolving, as I continue to evolve daily, I wanted to go scream from the mountaintops and tell everybody what's going on. Hey, yo, do this, do that, family, friends, you know, anybody. No, you can't do that. You have to let your life be an example and model mm -hmm. what it is that people want to say, well, hold up, you're doing something different. You're doing something great. Like, I want to be a part of that, you know, and that's how you pull people in. But you don't, you can't force people because the universal God don't force us. So, oh, it, so, in some ways. Yeah, I mean, you know, you have Carmea Creed. And you right, I'm like, okay, stuff. we can force But at the same bit. time, we have, quote unquote, this free will to do, uh, you know, people, number one thing to say is I'm grown. <laughs> okay, <laughs> worst grown. decision you ever made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? This grown up is the ghetto. Okay, right. I hate right. being right. grown. I was rich when I was a kid. <laughs> Anything I wanted. Right, 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 right. No bills. Well, they well, might. Well, mama might have put a bill in your name. Oh yeah, <laughs> your credit, credit your social security. <laughs> but you know, an eighteen year old with a two thirty four credit That's score. Right. That's fact. That's fact. Stevie Bags Jr. in the building, man. Tell them how to get the book. Oh man, uh, easy. StevieBagsJr.com, www.StevieBagsJr.com, or you can go to my IG. Everything is at StevieBagsJr. Um, my IG, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, my website, and you'll see the link there, man. Whoa, this book is going to help change the way you think. It'll give you a little bit more insight 
um, on what's been going on with the vibratory frequencies that we call words. And my vision for it is that we, we really unlearn and relearn. You know, um, I'm looking at the book right now with one of the things we got to stop chasing paper and start chasing paper. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, one, yeah. that, that, that's real, man, because paper going to come and go mm -hmm. and, and money is nothing but energy. And so if I'm, if I use my purpose to be in front of me instead of the paper, once I get to the paper, I stop moving. Yep. But the purpose is always in front of you. Keep moving. You're going to keep moving. Right. And, and money is nothing but energy. If you keep moving, the energy called money got to follow you. But if you follow money, I'll use money and I'll leverage money to make you do anything you want. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You could be bought. Yep. Hey, man, yep. Steve back in the building. Woke out right now. And they can go get greater in this game, too. Yes, sir. And this is the second book. Yes, sir. This is the oh, second. Yeah, man. This family right here, man. Hey, Stevie Bags Jr. in the building. Appreciate you coming on the show, my boy. Man, much love to you guys. You Free know. and do yes. show, man. Listen, y'all, 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 this was family. Like, y'all, y'all made me feel at home. Hey, this is home. You are. Welcome back anytime. We dropped the third book. So yeah. This is how you going to go back to football? Right. Yeah. It's a last. It's a Say less. Thank hey, you so More music on the way, man. On Linda's number one hip hop station. On the Korean Do Show on Atlanta's number one hip hop station. It's I 1079.